A Southside strip club has been temporarily shut down after a Jacksonville Sheriff's Office vice raid and fire inspection over the weekend. Investigators went undercover Saturday night at Emperor's Gentlemen's Club on University Boulevard. It's the latest in a string of recent busts at Jacksonville strip clubs. Officers arrested eight dancers on various charges, including exposure of body parts, simulating a sex act. One woman was also charged with prostitution after investigators say she began a sexual conversation with an officer. JSO called the fire marshal and that inspection led to a cease and desist order temporarily shutting the club down. City officials say one of the problems was that Emperor's recently increased its occupancy to more than 300 people and it was out of compliance with the fire code. Time is about up for the Jacksonville landing. Demolition of the downtown icon is set to start this week. News for Jackson reporter Jim Pickett joins us live from the landing. Jim, what's going to be happening? Well, we're going to see a lot of activity later on the week, but I'm doing something right now that you're just not going to be able to do in a short time, and that's walk through this public area of the landing. You know, many of us have done this over the years, but starting tomorrow, they're going to begin to put up a fence around this area that will keep the public out. It's going to be a gradual bit that they're going to be doing this because they say maybe by the end of the week on Friday, they could have this fenced off, so you're not going to be able to do it. But they're going to be working on this in segments. You know, there's everybody's gone basically from here except one business that's behind these doors, and the only way to get to it is in the front, and that's the Compass Bank that's out here. And they're going to be gone, I'd say, by October. So what we're going to see happening here at the landing is eventually they'll fence all of this off and then they'll bring in something like a wrecking ball or whatever eventually and what they're going to be doing then is begin that demolition work we'll see a lot of activity I'd say by the end of August and then once Compass Bank is out of here at the very beginning of October there's going to be a lot more work done we're told that they should have it demolished hopefully by the end of the year after that who knows what's going to happen out here? Mayor Curry was talking to him last week. He says he'd like to see a couple of things go on here, make this a public space, but have some private things as well. That's all yet to be decided. And a lot of people are wondering what's going to be happening. So we're going to be watching towards the end of the week when the fence is up and you're not going to be able to come down here. So I would say, hey, if you want to get a nice picture or something for your last shot at the landing, tonight might be the night to do that. We're live downtown. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.